Box. Hmm. Considering that we were able to open that thing with the axe, I wonder if Critter could open this. Yeah. Did that... did that work? No. Critter doesn't seem to be strong enough to actually make use of that. Critter! How did you get past the green skin? Very carefully. She went in a hole. She didn't know where she was, and then I was You're excited. full of surprises. First that trick with the hole in the wall, and now you've managed to get rid of Zazzy. It wasn't that bad. Alright, um... I'm gonna give this to Nate. And maybe he can use it to, uh... Open that crate out there. Thanks. Um... Might be able to put these things on this table here. Lovely. Sweet. Well, now we've got something to paint. Um, wonder if Nate can take this ladder to the other room, or if uh, Critter has to do it. It is rather big. Thanks. Oh, he's good with it. All right. Um, I don't think Nate needs this other stuff, so we'll just head back to Nate and switch on over here. Let's see if we can use this ladder somewhere. Yes. Wait. This is going to be interesting. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. I did not know that there was a Zazalisa. It looks awful. The Archmage's office must be somewhere back there. That would be the place to look for magical artifacts. Okay, so it's some kind of, um a jig thing. It wasn't a couple of door knockers. It doesn't seem all that magical to me. It just seems like you could just push it over there. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. What? No, I guess I guess it does because this is like uh, I guess it opens from the center of the door. So why can't Nate just push both of these things? The door is protected by a mechanism that doesn't look like it can be forced. Oh come on. It looks like it can be forced just fine. I guess there could be something on the other side that we can't see. That's holding it in place. What's going on here? Three stone tablets arranged one over the other. Hmm. I can turn the tablet. Got an A, and then the other side was... Wait a minute, that's different. What? Okay. That is definitely a combination lock. I think we're done here for the moment. Hmm. All right. Let's go and open that crate. Maybe there's something good in there. If we can open that crate, I suppose. Sweet. I'll take the nails. Maybe I can use them. Hmm, a gnome house robot. GHRX100. Even if I could keep the thing from exploding, I probably wouldn't have a use for it. Isn't that the, uh, hunting machine that... that Wilbur uses to get a... a mouse? Nah, the robot isn't going to help me. Alright then. Let's go, uh, see if we can grab that metal thing that, uh, Critter wasn't able to get. We're a lot taller than he it's is. It's some kind of metal bar. It's designed for... Well, you can use it to... That is, if... Um, no idea. Okay, well, let's take it. Might be helpful. The hell is that? It's like a horseshoe or something. Huh. Okay. Check out the hatch here. Critter did a thorough job. The hatch is closed off and the bow scuttle got so distorted in the crash that it won't open anymore. Or at least I hope so. Sweet. Tempting as it may be, I'm not going to mock her. Let's call it the wisdom that comes with age. 
Also, there will be plenty of time for that on our way back. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's check out the mirror. I'm sure. I used to be better looking. Really? But not much. <laughs> of course, it would be something vain. How I would love to be comforted by those big blue eyes. But first, we have a job to do. Okay. Nothing good over here, apparently. Let's talk to Mary. Hi, Mary. Captain Nate? What a crazy day this has been. We were shot down, and I've got a new mortal enemy, I had the chance to finally get rich, and I let it pass. Because you weren't going to let down your new friends. Because I'm an idiot. Who am I kidding? Here I am, playing the selfless hero, when all I can think of is that I've failed to seize my one big opportunity. And yet you are helping the critters. The harder you find that, the more remarkable it is. <sighs> Munkus was right. Once a thief, always a thief. No. If you were a thief, you'd have stolen the heart and run away. That's what thieves do. Munkus realized that you aren't one of them. That's why he let you take the heart. Thus making me a tool of his diabolical plan. Even good people make mistakes. But they don't run away and hide. They take responsibility for their mistakes and try to make amends, just like you. Nathaniel Bonnet. A good person. Huh. <laughs> At some point you'll realize that it is true, and that it pays off. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have more friends if you're less evil, because... Basically, the only people that you're going to have around you are those who you pay or fear you. If you're evil. That's just not not a good thing. So she makes a good point. Also, why did she call them critters this time around when she called uh, Critter a pink otter? Where? What? Anything else to say, Mary? Mary thinks I'm a good person. I think the crash must have been worse than I thought. <laughs> I'll leave her alone. She needs to recover. Alright. Well, um... I guess that's everything in here. Let's head out. Don't think I'm gonna find anything else. Oh, we can go to the city. Maybe there's something good down here. My last visit to Seastone was... a bit of a failure. I'd rather stay up here. Really? Nothing good? Gus Grumpy, the Seastone city guard, is a seven-foot hulk. Uglier than a gorilla, twice as strong, and three times as stupid. I'm not going to get on his bad side. Not again. I don't know. I thought he looked kind of scrawny. My last visit to Seastone. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Let's check out the will. The, the well. <laughs> I've seen bigger monsters, but none uglier. It looks like a sea cow or something. Let's check out the mage's tower. The Mage's Tower in Seastone is said to be the magical center of Avantasia. The Archmage is something like the spiritual leader of the Alliance. If it weren't for the tower, the city would probably have been abandoned already. Thanks to the war, trade has almost completely come to a standstill. A hard blow for the citizens. Yeah, there aren't really many citizens down in this town. I assume the Archmage's office is high up in one of the towers. I've got my work cut out if I want to enter it and... borrow a magical artifact. I assume the Archmage's office is high up in one of the... Alright, well, let's get back. Perhaps I can, uh, cut down the angel painting to use. It can't hold if it's being, uh, cut down, right? Right? I can't hack off the angel's hands, that's for sure. I hmm. prefer to solve the problem my way. Complicated and barely comprehensible. Hmm, maybe Critter will want to cut it down. Try giving the axe back to him. Wait, cut some hair off Critter? What? <laughs> Thanks. Okay. A little bunch of pink hair. Very suspicious. Looks very fuzzy. Hmm. Hold on a minute. 
We need a paintbrush. This might this might just do for what we need. Can I give this to him yet? Here, yeah, take I can. this. Alright. I've got an idea here. This might make us a paintbrush if we combine them together. Oh great. Yes, Nate, it is it's absolutely fabulous. Let's see if we can cut down that uh, angel painting because we still need that. No. No, I can't cut down any paintings. Maybe there's another painting somewhere else that I can cut down. Does this warp him back? No. Critter is able to move about freely in this place. This place doesn't mind Critter. I wonder if the reason that uh, it mines Nate is because he's a human. That might be the reason for him uh, getting stopped. Now, Critter tried to take this picture earlier. Maybe we can... Yes! Perfect! And then we have a painting. And downstairs we go. Maybe Nate can use this as a uh, canvas to paint over. Alright. There you go. Oh, great. That should be all he needs to uh, get a painting going if this ends up being... Yep. Wrap this around here, tie it, and you have... A rather professional looking critter hair brush. Nice. Alright. Can we paint on this? I haven't got enough opaque white to cover the picture. I need a blank canvas. Hmm. I haven't got enough opaque. Alright. So we definitely need this painting. No doubt about it. Hmm. When we scared this pig, it jumped into this picture. What if we switched the paintings? Aha! The picture frame is so big that I can simply put the painting with the orb into it. Hmm, okay, that works. I guess we don't have to move it after all. Let's scare this pig again. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, that's that's one way to get a painting. Can we take it now? No axe necessary. Yep. A suitable background for my first masterpiece. Sweet. Okay. I think we're ready to uh, actually paint. Let's give oh, it a shot. I've been kissed by the muse. Have you now? I'll sketch an outline on the canvas with this piece of charcoal. Now I just need to paint the bottle and the grapes, but not too crudely, or the portrait won't accept them. He's really good at sketching. Um, so how does this work? Do I just like click on something and then it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, this could take a little while. Um, sure. Why not? I, I wonder how um, how accurate you have to be here. Not very, apparently. I think you just gotta fill some stuff in here, kinda make it like grapes. Yeah, that looks good. I guess the background's kinda purple too. Kinda paint that in there. Uh, I am no artist. I am like the worst possible artist for this kind of thing. Overlap the lines, who cares? We'll just paint over it and we'll all be good, hopefully, maybe. A little over there and a little over there. Looking good. Yes. I think it's purple down there too, ish. And there's like a table there. Uh, let's put that table in. 
There you go. That's, that's kind of table-y-ish. Yeah? Yes. I, I feel a table. It's perfect. All right. Um, let's see here. We need a little bit of red hair. Looking good. Uh-huh. Yeah, it looks fine. Need some green for this stuff. Oh, this looks terrible. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of okay, yeah? Ish. I need to retouch this. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. That looks okay. Ish. Kind of retouch that there. Okay. Um, the top of this doesn't look very good, though. Can I put some of that there? Yeah. That needs to be painted. I guess this will work. I think. Yeah, that looks okay. And just put a little bit of that. And, uh, voila! Sort of. Put, put a little more there. Make those actually look like some, some grapes. Ish. Yes. A little more here. I don't want that green. All right. I, I think we're good. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Can we can we get out of here? This is good enough. Ta-da! Done. Hmm. Yeah, that's not half bad. I thought Makes it was pretty bad. Makes your mouth oil whatever. paint, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> at least I can see what it's supposed to be, and that it hasn't been eaten at least once before. <laughs> All right, put the painting back on the easel. I'll take some of it. Enjoy. Wow. Now, what about that oddly shaped piece of metal? I'm surprised it's that in that a worked. Compartment behind a painting in the gallery upstairs. There's hundreds of paintings up there. It's our only mene. Are you familiar with this work? Not really. It's from his tragic, hilarious period. Huh? The clown. The crying clown. Ah! <laughs> you um, need to tell him the password. Uh, cuddle duddle doing doing. What? Cuddle duddle doing doing. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, he seems to be enjoying the booze. Good for him. Let's get us a little bit of metal, shall we? Cuddle duddle doing doing. <laughs> Say what? Oh. The password? Cuddle duddle doing doing? He screwed me, didn't he? <laughs> you, you, you told to Alistair, didn't you? <laughs> there is no password, right? Cuddle duddle doing doing! <laughs> Yes, of course there is. Only, you need to dance as well. And wear a green hat. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Cuddle Duddle. Come on, give me that piece of metal. He's got a rather blinky oh, nose. But of course, Colonel Oink Oink. <laughs> I don't like clowns. All right, well, we got the metal. Maybe we can do something with this thing now. Oh, that only looks like it's one piece of what we need. Hmm. All right, wow, he went through that fast. Do we need to paint him another for something else? Cuddle duddle doing doing, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, when you're just hanging around here all day, you've got to learn to entertain yourself. I found it very amusing. I'll just look for a bottle of turpentine, then I can show you just how funny that was. You don't joke about things like that. <laughs> okay, we can't paint him another thing to find the other one. Um. Problem is, the only thing I know that's left is the table and I'm not quite sure I know what to do with the table 
I guess we'll take a look at it. Hmm. So we got like a star thing in the middle. And pointy arrows. Wait a minute. These look like the pieces of the star, and this looks like uh, the same thing. The middle here, the gray. So does that mean... Well, that lit up. Does this light up? I guess everything lights up. But my idea is match it up with the points of the star. Hey! That did something. Does this, does this screw it up? Yes. Okay. So I think I did something right. Pretty sure I did.